Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another Grounded video. And guess what? The big November patch is almost here. But before that, we got a brand new PTS public test server for us to check out all of the new content coming to the game. And you better believe it, it's the Koi Pond update finally coming our way. So strap yourselves in. I'm diving in in kind of a free play mode, going to explore all of the things that they've added to the game. Very much a low key casual playthrough of all the new content. Try to showcase as much as I possibly could. I believe Livid is working on a video right now, diving into the patch notes and breaking down every little minute detail. But if you guys just want to see the content, experience it like I'm experiencing it, you're going to get that right now in a brand new video. So enjoy and hopefully we'll see you in the backyard. This is the content that's coming in the upcoming patch. Now with the last patch and the last PTS, they said not everything you see is what you're going to get, but that's not exactly true. Everything that we saw is exactly what we got. So who knows if there's more? They released a ton of new interviews today uh, about all of the new content that's coming, including taming insects. That is a huge new addition to that kind of update, if you will. They also mentioned the bees and mosquitoes once again, and of course the koi pond update. And that's what we're really focused on here today is the koi pond. As you guys can see, the koi pond is back to looking beautiful, and I figured for the next 15, 20 minutes, we would just dive in and try and discover as much as we possibly could. I did go ahead and uh, already get myself some stuff here, so I'm just going to make some new armor. As you guys may have remembered from the video we put out a few weeks ago or months ago, I don't know how long it's been, honestly. We've got the koi scale helmet, we've got this koi scale chest piece, we've got the koi scale greaves, and it uh, looks like our inventory is full. So let's pick all this up. Let's pop our new gear on. Of course, this is gear that's going to help us in the underwater biome here. So let's make sure we get it all on. Let's pick up our greaves here. Where are they? There they are. All right, and so this is going to give us some sort of effect called the Dazzling Riposte, I believe is how you pronounce that. Uh, no longer does it seem to have anything to do with swimming. Now, I don't know if that's a bug or if that's actually a change. There was obviously thoughts that the swimming gear was going to help you swim better, but uh, we don't know that for sure. Now, I'm also going to equip here my peblet knife. This is going to allow me to harvest stuff underwater. And without further ado, let us just dive in and let's see what kind of mischief we can get up to. Now, I did keep the immersion on the, uh, you know, the background blur so that the immersion would stay intact here. And yeah, I mean, definitely looks like we're depleting oxygen pretty quick. We've only got about a 35 second window. One thing I want to point out right away is that the lily pad wax used to be on top. It is now below and it looks like we can just collect it. So it doesn't look like we actually need to hit the lily pads anymore to gain the lily pad wax. Now let's find out if we actually can do that though. All right, so nothing with the knife. How about if we jump on top here? and hit it with an axe. Anything? Doesn't look like anything is happening, but let's just keep whacking for a second here. I don't think so. I don't think anything is happening. You guys see anything? I don't think so. Maybe the dots on it are changing colors. Oh, we're, no, no, that's not it. All right, so safe to say that the lily pads are no longer destructible. And let's put our knife back on and dive back in. Check out some of the creatures here. I saw them before. Let me just keep swimming down. Now you guys may have also noticed that the diving bell spider silk is now inserted in like in this little cubby of all of this is I believe this is eelgrass, but we're gonna find out. So now you can just j dive into there, hold E, actually just press E, and it restores a little bit of health. But it, it is have it does have a limited quantity of breath in there as you can see so we're going to keep swimming around here yeah before those diving bell spider balls were kind of all over the place now they seem to be where they should be oh here's here we go here's something this is the uh, water boatman i believe this is a neutral creature i think let's find out okay so he's floating upside down put our knife out here Make sure we get breath so we don't die. Where do you go? There he is. So he's floating on the top. I feel like they did some, some model work to him. He looks fantastic. The pattern on the back, just the, the water animation. It's all really good stuff. 
And as expected, we get one water boatman fin. We can use that for a new cooking item, and I'll show you guys that really quick. Uh, health and snacks, boatman fin soup. So it's edible and drinkable. All right, so let's dive back under. And here he is. Now with the god mode off, if they are hostile, they should attack us. Nothing, huh? All right, so no attacking from the water boatman. So they are a neutral new insect. I did see a water flea over here. Now, water fleas aren't new. They're newer, but they're not new. Lots of the lily pad wax, which is cool. And then we also have the cattails up there. So I think I have some arrows. Do I have some arrows? I do not have any arrows. Hold on. Let me, uh, let's go get some arrows. All right. So we have some arrows. Let's check it out. I believe. No, huh? Interesting. All right. So even all the way up here, I built this structure for us. Still can't figure out how to get the cattail. Now, this was part of the idea way back when, but it doesn't look like this is part of it now. And I'm just going to try all of my different tools here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. But it does not look like there's anything there with the cattails. Now, that is a change since we uncovered this secret pond biome way back when. All right, so let's dive back in. That is one change, something to note. Let's check out under here, see what's under here. Now, it looks like there's some sort of gatherable item here. Maybe? It looks like it. Don't these look like they're glowing? Certainly look like they're glowing. Possibly something there. Could just be a reflection, too. So we'll grab some of that breath in the spider silk there, and we'll just keep going. I do like the change to the spider silk, seeing the spider webs in the right place as opposed to just kind of strewn all about the pond biome is really cool. Now, there is our first spider right there. Let's see if we can take him out. Maybe hard. Let's find out. Diving bell spider. Now, we only have 14 seconds here before we lose our breath. So, it looks like we got him. No big deal. Got some web fiber. And, oh, interestingly enough, when we kill him... We actually gained a little bit of health or uh, uh, breath back, which is kind of interesting. Now, definitely dark. They changed a lot of the aesthetic of the underwater here. And look, there are a lot of little spiders down here. The deeper we go, the more spiders we seem to run into. We've got tadpoles. Yes, I know tadpoles are not insects. Almost, almost one shot them with the spider fang dagger. And we're about to lose our breath, which means we may die. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Nailed it. Just barely. All right. So as you guys can see, we do have a new quest here. Find our ways to the depths. Now, if you remember correctly from our old video, there is a dome over here. And this dome is really interesting because it's kind of alluding to something. Now, if you don't want any spoilers, I would turn away now. Don't look. Because this is the key to everything underwater. And you will find out very soon. Now, here's some of that eelgrass. We weren't able to actually harvest the eelgrass before. I'll tell you, man, this breath is limiting. Even with the koi armor on, which doesn't look like it's going to change anything in terms of our breath capacity, being down here for 35 seconds is not a long time. So that's definitely going to be a challenge, even on the lower difficulties. All right, so we have eelgrass here. We can use our knife. Looks like it breaks it apart and just kind of drops it down. So good to know that they finally got the eelgrass implemented. Again, I'm going to run out of breath. I'm going to try and get to that diving bell spider spot here. I don't see anything here. Just a spider following me in. No big deal. Definitely less terrifying than the uh, the big spiders. Interesting, though. Really important to note that when you kill them, you do get some uh, breath back. That is an interesting change. And there's our friend, the koi fish. Uh-oh. He's coming right at us. He is massive. Now, they did mention that the koi fish can kill us. So we're going to see exactly how that happens. Now, just so you guys know, to find koi scales, 
the scales actually fall off the fish. You don't need to kill the fish. That would be very challenging. But they finally got the, the swimming animations. It looks like he swims up, down, sideways, left, right, backwards. Well, maybe not backwards, but you know where I'm going with that. All right, so he's coming our way. Let's see if we can get in his way. Let's see what happens. Is he going to aggro us? Okay, he's, he's not happy. What's he going to do? Nothing. He's not going to do anything? Let's see if he eats us. Is he going to eat us? He's not going to eat us. Maybe? All right, so it looks like he's trying to get into a position to eat us. But I think we kind of bugged him out. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. He's not happy. What's happening? Nothing. Nothing's happening. Oh, we got to get up. We're going to lose. We're going to die. Oh, boy. We may not make it. So we definitely made him unhappy. But didn't get to a point where he was going to kill us. Which is interesting and something important to note. So, most likely that's going to get fixed once the patch actually comes out. He was following us there, though. He's aggroed on us. I think something's aggroed on us. Oh, yeah. He's really not happy. He's not happy. Let's get away from him for a second. Now, one thing I want to show you guys. We just built a little lean-to here. It looks like we can now unset our respawn point. Which is interesting because then we can set our respawn point. Basically... Probably, I'm not 100% sure this is right, but making sure that players are respawning at the right locations, wherever they want to respawn at. I'm sure, I know the team's been dealing with a lot of bugs and issues with the game, so I think they're probably trying to find a solution uh, that allows them to fix the respawn issue without, you know, disrupting the game too much. Now, it looks like we do have a scab here on top of this little branch. I'm not a wild scab collector, so I'm not 100% sure if this is new. But let's find out. So we'll go to our OS here. Uh, I believe this is probably panfish, right? I would imagine this is panfish. Cool looking scab. Not bad. All right. So let's keep on moving down. I'm actually going to turn the blur off here if you guys don't mind. All right. So a cool little addition here. As I was searching, I found this nice black wire. We're going to go into this creepy hole here. Diving bell spiders all around. And this is where we meet our friend, the T-Rex. You guys remember him from the last episode. This looks like it's the way to get down into the depths of the pond now. This is a slight change from before. And we're just going to keep on moving forward here. Now, again, the breath is an issue. Luckily for me, I have the power of dev commands. They definitely did some work down here. Oh, we're getting sucked in. Now we're moving super fast. Interesting. Oh, the little jets. Look at this. So there are little jets here that push us around. That's kind of cool. That's a new addition. And same thing. We got to turn these power things on. Now, can we just go up to them and activate them? Yes, we can. All right. So we need to switch on all the breakers. And like I said, you guys can pretty much just ignore the fact that I have no breath at this point. Just using a few commands so I can show you guys all this content. Who knows? Maybe you don't have time to do the PTS. Maybe you're just stuck at work. We got you covered. I may need to invest in some of those flippers because this is so slow. Slow. All right, so that's two. We need one more dial here. Is that all of them? There we go. All right, so that should open the labs here called the depths. Always found that to be a challenging word to say, depths. All right, so let's pop up. Again, no spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, turn away. All right, so we are in a brand new lab here. Battery backup mode. All right, so it looks like we need to turn power on here to gain access to that door. 
So let's see what we got. They've definitely done some work in this lab. Really cool looking. So let's just explore all of the things. Here we go. What is this? Use. Oh, it's a bed. They added a bed down here. That's really cool. And we can set this as a respawn point. That is really interesting. Actually surprised by that one. All right. So not a lot that direction other than the bed. Here we go. We got some science here. Power grid control. Let's hit that switch. We're rerouting the power. I feel like a shark is going to come out and jump at me or something. All right, so let's go log into that terminal now. Oh, we can't, but this door is open. All right, so here we are in the dome that I mentioned before. We do have an analyzer here for anybody that needs to analyze anything. And let's head up to the main computer terminal. Connection error. Ominent doors, version 3.1. Resume auto mode, performing systems check. There we go. The world is our oyster. Quite literally. So they definitely did some work on this computer module here. A little bit of work on the lab itself. The underwater still looks great. The changes that they made to the kind of the particles floating around look fantastic. It does look like there's still particles floating inside of the dome, uh, which was an interesting thing that happened in the, the mode before as well. All right, so let's keep checking out the lab. We're going to go back down, hit that computer terminal up if we can. Anything? Battery backup mode. Okay, so that's still not active. Maybe that's just nothing. And let's head this way. Oh, it got real dark there for a second. All right, so that's a drop down into some more water. Uh, we'll do that in a quick second here. I want to make sure we explore the rest of the lab first. I think that may be everything. Okay, yeah, so that's everything here. That leads us down, right? That leads us down. We did the dome already. All right, so I guess we're going back into the water. Now, one thing we haven't seen yet are the leeches, which were part of the secret zone before. All right, so this is just a quick move here. And we are back out in kind of like a side entrance, little tunnel here to the side of the dome. So in terms of this biome, I'm not 100% sure that there's more here than this. Definitely seems to be the case that this is all we've got, at least for now. But I do want to point out one other thing for you guys. I know you guys are interested in this stuff. So in the status effects, I actually ran across a few new mutations as well. The first one is Javelin. Javelinier, I believe is how you pronounce that. Range is your greatest ally as you reach out and stab your foes from afar. Spears are increasingly deadly in your hand and when thrown. So this is the same as uh, the chopper and the smasher increasing your weapon damage, but this time it's with the spear. Now we have another one called Assassin. Small blades blur in your hand as you swing them with absolute precision. Daggers are your weapon of choice and ensure your foes die swiftly. Same exact concept, increase damage with daggers. And then finally, we have Mertine. The push and pull of thick, rich pond water coaxes your gummy little body into becoming a part of this world. Your permeable skin, oh my God, words. Your permeable skin being, beings, I think it, I think that's supposed to be begins to utilize an electrochemical gradient that propels your limbs like mighty flagella and aids in respiration. My God, that is a long winded way to say that you can breathe better underwater. Now let's activate that and let's actually see if that gives us unlimited breath or if it gives us extended breath. And I'm going to turn off. Now it looks like it just extends it by about 10 seconds which is not that great. Now that could change. Obviously this is a PTS and those things do change. But that extra 10 seconds could be useful. Let's turn it off now. Let's dive in. Actually, it only gives us an extra five seconds, I believe. 
I believe we have 40 without the, the perk. And then I think we have 45 with the perk. Let's put it back on. Just test it out one more time. Yeah, 45. So it's only giving us five extra seconds of underwater breathing, which is interesting. Not exactly great. So a big patch to be sure coming our way. We've kind of been anticipating the Koi Pond update. We've also been anticipating bees and mosquitoes. Haven't seen any of those yet. But we do know that that content is on its way. A lot of the media outlets, the big media outlets, have reported that that stuff is coming. Obviously, with the tadpoles as well, we may see frogs in the future. But for now, it's just tadpoles, which give us some crafting materials. And there you go. Now we're on the other side of the pond. So as I mentioned, guys, the update is available for everybody to check out. This is the PTS or public test server, which means you can play it, but it's not a guarantee that this content is done. Actually, as it appears, it's not done, uh, but there's still more work to be done, but at least it'll give you a taste. You can check it out for yourself. Once the update comes out, myself and Livid will be back for our next episode of Zero to Hero. And uh, I'm gonna just hide over here and not get aggroed by this giant spider. And there's our Koi friend. We'll end by saying hi to our friend, Mr. Koi. And guys, let me know what you think about the update in the comment section below. Does it add enough to the game to entice you to play, to entice you to come back? What are you most looking forward to for future content in the game? And yeah, just your overall impressions of this content update, even though it is the PTS. I'll be back for more videos on Grounded as we learn more things about the game. Remember to keep it here, like, subscribe, and of course, join us on Discord if you want to be part of our community. And as always, folks, my name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.